plan this weekend really is just you know touch wood, have um, have a, a good clean weekend really, not get caught up in any you know um, any sort of uh, accidents or anything. You know, just literally have a nice clean weekend, two good top ten race results, um, and build there into into Fruxton. I'm sure people are aware that you know last um, you know we've had Tommy in 2010 and 2011. He's certainly a talent in the making, without a doubt. You know, we saw last year he's very strong on the BMW. Um, Tommy approached us and we had a chat to him and thought, yeah, this would be good. So we'll get it back on the Honda. It's good. One thing that Tommy showed last year was consistency, um, and that's what this championship is about. To be fair, it's about um, uh, you know you know it's not all about winning the races. It's about sort of being consistently in the top. I think it's the top eight you've got to be in, um, and Tommy showed that last year, so that's fantastic. And that's something I've not seen in the past from him, so that impressed me last year without a doubt. And look at number 46, yep. Tommy Bridewell, yep. fourth row of the grid on the yep. Baytham's Honda. He's running seventh behind Ellison. Now look at this, Farmer is now getting clawed back by that menacing black Honda, the Baytham's Honda of number 46, Tommy Bridewell, who is being pressed in turn by that bright red build based BMW. Tommy Bridewell drop a foot and move through inside Keith Farmer at Druids. The results then in the Brands Hatch Indy, race one of the whole 2013 series of the MCE British Superbikes. John Kirkham, great debut for build base BMW in fourth, ahead of Tommy Bridewell on Baytham's Honda. Yeah, I know the first race uh, on the Baytham's Honda was quite good, to be honest. Um, obviously, come from 13th to, to 5th, which... Uh, which is what I was sort of hoping for, to be fair. But um, we're still quite far away with the bike of how I how I want it. You know, uh, the team, are, you know, have worked really hard, and you know, we're not a million miles away. Kianari there. Bridewell has also made another astonishing start. Yuichi Kianari back from Asian oh, duty. Oh, but he loses. Was, was that, that Bridewell? Was Bridewell? That was Bridewell just <laughs> leaving him aside there. Bridewell, we're hearing that Bridewell's bikes so either smoking or blown up. There he is. So Tommy Bridewell in trouble with the Baytham's Honda. He's pulled over on the. Uh, the number 46 black and white bike. Oh, this, I'll tell you what, he hasn't seen anything coming out. Let's have a look, back of the shot, back of the shot. That's it, it's that, oh. I think, is water. That's coolant because he just didn't have that intensity and blueness that you get with engine smoke. And he's uh, he's not doing the best of things, I don't think, touring around with something pouring out of his bike. He obviously doesn't know because he wouldn't do that. This is it, this is where it was. There's, there's the Baytham's Honda, Bridewell's off it. It's, it's definitely, I think it's it's popped probably a coolant pipe off. Disappointment then, visible disappointment from Thomas George Bridewell II there as he slumps down in his garage. 